Hi, welcome back to the channel. Anastasia with you, your go-to holistic health and fitness expert. I encourage you right now, one thing, what you need to do, subscribe to the channel to stay updated, to put your notification on and stay tuned with every piece of content that I create and upload for you on a daily basis with the tips, recommendations and moderation how to be healthiest and the best version of yourself naturally with holistic approach for the optimal health and for the longevity as well as the graceful aging no matter where you are right now in your life no matter at what age you are right now and seeing this video there is always great to put the seeds of health and to get the harvest in a, in a shape of your health in the future so the sooner we start, the better we will be having our quality of life and our health in the future. So today we will discuss about our feet health and how your feet can identify if you have an issue with your inner organs and specifically with liver. So basically you can x-ray without going to use the x-ray machine with your feet what the situation is with your liver so let's start it with uh, uh, informal medicine like acupuncture ayurveda uh, alternative medicine where they also practice reflexology and they press in all i will show my palm but ideally we will identify this as a feet so your feet have all dots which are allocated and represent all parts of your body of your organs so for example the inner sole of your feet it's depending on a spine so if we are spoiling our feet on a regular basis especially very important to know this for teenagers if you have a kid and if they are too much into fashionable shoes higher heels for girls or even for me at my teenage age i had the trouble with um, accepting that my feet is 38 39 size and i was buying 37 kind of like chinese geisha and i would squeeze my feet which in the long run resolved me an issue with the spine because i was modifying under the pressure the shape of my feet which was resulting in a back pain since young age but thankfully i also started very young uh, swimming career so it was a bit in balance but still it's a harm that you can make unconsciously with these small details like fashion uncomfortable shoes shoes for example laboudin uh, christian laboudin high heels it's I don't know for whom it's comfortable, but I would say it's very uncomfortable and again, it's harm you. Even heels, it should be comfortable. You shouldn't squeeze your feet unless you are just coming, walk into the event and this is this. You are not really walking in your high heels. So let's start it with the basic identification of your feet. So for example, the health of your nails on your toes on your feet it's going to identify very much about your health overall so ideally you need to have this uh, half moon shape at the beginning of your nail right so for example i can show you on my hand because i don't have any polish on it so when your nail has this half moon white line it means your nails it's healthy it's the same thing for the feet but for example, again, because of the pressure of different, different modeling shoes, high heels, we could squeeze our toes and it will be uh, a bit go wrong with our bone structure. But at the same time, not only bone health, but it's also affecting to create fungus infection in our nails, which are identifying as well that you have an issue with your liver. So if you are having fungus, it's not only an outside that it's eating your nails or uh, not necessarily the nails, it's also when you are having peeling skin between the fingers on your toes, it means also fungus infection. So it's not just outside, it's again everything coming from inside. It means you have an issue with the liver, the best to do a check up and to moderate your meal food intake with a company with holistic herbs how to treat detoxify and rejuvenate your liver again everything is possible naturally without any heavy medication and going with the alternative medicine so this is about fungus 
also when you have a dry skin excessive dry skin on your heels and on your feet it means that I mean now ladies that we are going to salon like for a pedicure maybe every other three weeks two weeks maybe in the summer we put apply like gelish uh, polish or for feet we also do uh, pedicure sessions but it means also the way how you d remove the dead skin it's also affecting to get like stimulation to get more of the dry skin so here it's come when you have really dry and uh, cracking heels it means that you don't have enough fats in your system you don't have enough of omega-3 so if you are vegetarian you need to apply and consume more food in your diet rich in omega-3 if you are eating meat and fish you need to eat more uh, sardine, more salmon, more fatty meat to have this omega-3 in your diet. So it's only from the feet, but when you don't have enough omega-3 in your health and your system, it's coming with the dry heels, it's coming with dry skin, uh, skin which are very sensitive to change to wrinkles and to cellulite and to stretch marks, again hair loss, all of this from the simple ingredients that you don't have enough fat omega-3 in your diet when you regulate and stabilize your diet and your meal intake with the rich whole food items you will not have the issues with this kind of aspects of your health of your outside health appealing because it's kind of already that you see outside effects that you are lacking of certain vitamins or certain elements also, if you have a spider vein on your calf muscle, it's also identifies that you have an issue with the liver. So your liver is too weak to digest everything that you give to your liver, and it might also be a backside of food that you consume. I will speak about the food that you consume and which is not good to your liver at the end of this video, but still, it's identification that you have a weak vascular uh, system and that's why you have a spider scheme on your calf muscles so you need to rejuvenate this special meal intake to cleanse your system and to detoxify so again everything comes to the basic you are what you eat and you are how you eat so when you correct this basic your whole life will change your appeal will change and you will again remove from your life so many things which bring you unnecessary struggle. You don't need an expensive self-care cosmetic and creams and a bunch of serums and then treatments and supplements. You just need to invest and do a structural educational system on your food, how you plan your food, how you mix your food, that will make you feel better and better and better. Not that you need to struggle and put on top boxes of supplements and boxes of creams and boxes of collagen and all other elements, I mean, which is great, we have access to this, but there is, most of it are not genuine and it's just marketing trick. So I'm highly recommending you to invest in your food, in a food education, then to go for a marketing and think that you buy a lot of things and it will benefit to you. It will not benefit to you because nature give up us, give up us everything and you can just consume in the right amount of these food items and be the best version of yourself and the healthiest version of yourself. So the other thing also if you have a feet odor, if you have an issue with the smelling feet or sweaty feet also during the summer, maybe sometimes also for some people it's uh, uh, apparently happen even in the winter when the feet sweating and it give an unpleasant odor you don't need to go for a special spray and for you know do soak your feet in a uh, tea tree oil bath and it's all causing just outside source you need to heal from inside then outside will disappear you don't need to invest in this uh, therapies and beauty uh, sessions that will remove odor from outside you need to invest to heal your liver from inside and then you don't you wouldn't have the side effects and you do not need to deal with it so first thing you need to identify as everything in life what is the cause so the odor 
fungus, uh, dry heels, wrinkles uh, on the heels, then spider on the spider net on your calf muscle. It's all identification of liver, of weak liver, of maybe your liver getting into the obesity state. It's all significant uh, indicators that you have some issue with your liver. Well, now we will speak why do you have the significant issue with your liver. It can be a side effect of certain medication. If you was uh, treated on a certain medication, if you was into diabetes, cancer, chemo, uh, menopause, hormonal, uh, hormonal supplements, yourself, something like really heavy, it could be a side effect on your liver because anything that we consume as a medication, even for example, let's look back at COVID time, any kind of medications that we consume when we are sick, even if we have like really hard flu or virus, we mix a lot of antibiotics and medicines. And the first thing that affect us, I mean, it kills the virus, it heals us as a flu or any kind of sickness, but in the long term, even to, for one week flu, it affects your liver because there's a lot of heavy medicine elements which affect in your liver. And to get back on a normal track, you need to detoxify your liver then after this to clean up your system and get back to the healthy shape, again, from inside, which is very important. So, side trip side effect of medication then if you have a lot of junk food and i'm not speaking of like you having mcdonald's every day or burger king if you're going like really often for a deep fried food for a fries for a fried fish for a chicken fish fish and chips for steak a lot of fried food a lot of bad oil in your diet a lot of refined sugar a lot of processed food a canned food, not fresh one, like baked beans, tuna box, uh, milk made, uh, what else we can have, uh, corn, mm, beans, like all of this canned food is not good for you. All canned sauce that you can buy from the market is also not good for you. You need to go for simplify your food, simplify your meal intake, and then you will clean. You know, even the side effect about all this cleansing, it would be like weight loss, which wouldn't be even the goal. But for example, even if you have the goal to lose weight, you need to just tolerate the inner organs health. And when you look really what important food items you need to give for your inner organs, the side effect would be that all refined sugar, all processed food would be melt away this extra kilos from your body and you would be like in the best shape of your life, which you might never see even yourself within the shape of kilos because you was always eating something. When you was teenage, you was eating sweets a lot, then you was uh, maybe liking to drink beers and you like to eat something else and you get to the caffeine addiction. So there is always was spike of something else, something else, something else. But when finally at the stage of realization, you realize that you need to clean your system from this, you will shed away and it would be like a fresh breath from your system and you would be purified, detoxified, cleans your system and will be fresh breath for your health. So side effect of medication, junk food, uh, oily food, then also an uh, excessive intake of alcohol, nicotine and caffeine. It's also affecting our liver in a long run and even in a short time, but if you are having regularly, it's also give a negative intake. So please do really read carefully the items what you consume from where they come from, how they've been packaged, what kind of extra ingredients is there, even like milk. A lot of milk products we don't need as adults, we don't need to produce and uh, have in our meals a lot of meat. For example, now even new trend to have um, coffee, cappuccino or latte with coconut milk or almond milk. It's not really milk. And you don't need it you can just have a black coffee which is great for you water is amazing liquid the caffeine in a um, small amount like one cap a day it would be great for your system as well but you don't need to give this extra lipid cream syrup uh, all kind of things you don't need it it's all extra you just need to simplify and detoxify yourself even i use term of detoxification it means just 
cutting off all artificial, all processed, all canned, all fried, all jank items from your food, you will cleanse your liver, you will bring your liver back to the normal size if you are having already liver obesity, hence you would have also obesity on your physical body. So when you shed away those extra fat from your liver, your body also will transform. And then you will also put as an anti-aging mechanism because you remove all the bad food from your food, from your meal, from your food intake, and you would be glorifying so that all ages um, and aging processes was inputting on your system would be reversed and you would like a pressing a button of your food. So this is what about liver health and how you can identify it through the feed and what kind of sources to get the liver issue through our plate because our health is in our hand with your fork and knife you either open up the world of health longevity and optimal health or you open up a door to a lot of issues with medication hospitals and short life so the choice is always yours, what is your goal, how you want to live, how long you want to live and what quality of your life you want to have. So either you want to be healthy, energetic and uh, enthusiastic about the life or the other side of the window you want to have. If you need a help to how to start your health transformation and how to get to identification where you have an issue maybe with overweight or menopause or liver issue or diabetes it's always great to identify and heal naturally with holistic approach and you go to holistic health and fitness expert i would be more than happy to help you transform your life so you can go down below to the social media or send me an email on my email and we can set up with you free consultation call where i will get to know your backstory, where you are right now, what's your current situation, and I will offer you my tailor-made one-on-one -on -one consultation coaching for three or six months up to you, up to your situation, where I will guide you specifically upon your needs and your situation, how to transform your life and be the best version of yourself, the healthiest version of yourself and empower you because you are the super woman you can do anything and everything in this life so i hope this gave you some uh, meaningful insight about liver about our feet about our health overall and i will see you in the next video